Okay, but this is a tutorial. We're going to say we're after hours calls, um, where we get them from the answering service. We don't, they don't dispatch it to us, so we're going to have to dispatch it ourselves. Uh, and this tutorial is going to show you how to start a call. Um, so we're here on our active phone screen right now. It shows there's no calls active, but we know we got one from, say, AAA. Uh, the first thing we do is, of course, we got a text message about it, so we know some of the information. We're going to go and press the plus sign in the right upper hand corner. This is going to start a new call. Of course, we have your make and model, then license, color, all this information that we normally get to a call, which we may know some of it, and you could put it in there if you wish. You could do that. auto populate this if we click the eye with the circle in it we can scroll through all the options of vehicles I'm gonna scroll down to one that I know Toyota it auto populates in the model click the eye or runner done with this the fin we don't know until we get there the license we don't know until we get there you know color and that kind of thing still don't know odometer any of that stuff so we'll scroll down to the assigned drivers and trucks. The driver is showing me as the attest account. I'm going to show this truck for whatever reason. Click done. Call information. None of that needs to be filled out. And then if you want to, and you want directions, let's say add it in. Now, the selected addresses, these are addresses of places that we can, that we've already put in, that we're going to drop trucks off or pick trucks up or any of that kind of stuff. There's lots of different ones. Um, I'm going to type in an address here. Let's say 403 West Pine. Don't know what that is, but... There it is. Okay, let's say it's an impound. It's going to ask us for the lot. This is what you do on an impound. We're going to choose our Stanley's Record Service lot. If there's a police hold on any reason, you can always click that. This is all going to notify that police hold. It's going to put a message on the screen whenever Kelly brings it up but there's a police hold on it and there's no say if we had a fatality accident boom police hold okay no contacts no notes no charges except for obviously it's going to put loaded miles in there always and the price for storage because we already chose that it. it was an impound right so it's going to start that impound storage this day okay we click done it's creating the call one more step before we leave we'll click this call Click change status and dispatched. Now it's going to show the test account, which is me, the truck. Click done. Guess what? It's going to send me a message. Boom. Here it is again. Accept and view. Now I have my headphones plugged in, so there's no sound. Uh, here it's going to show our impound. This shows an impound number. That's for Kelly. Uh, the days held and all that stuff. So we're dispatched. It shows us where I'm at, where I need to pick up in the red, and where I need to go in the green. This all is the exact same as the previous screens we talked about. Changing the status. Let's go through. Alright. Now one of the things we need to do is edit this call. We need to not only put in the VIN license color and all that business, of course, if it's drivable, it has the keys, 
um, any information we get about the let's say reason accident abandoned vehicle here's all the different kinds of reasons that a vehicle could be towed or impounded click police for the reason Impound information, context, notes. Now we're going to add a charge to this for what? Hookup. Let's choose the little circle with the plus mark in it. Under required item name, we're going to press the arrow. Scroll down to hookup, tow fee. Oop, it's wrong. So we need to change it. Unit price to 81.25. Click done. And there it is. Tofi 8125. Impound storage. Now under the loaded hooked miles, we can change that. It suggested that we towed it 1.4 miles, but we always know that we round up. So under quantity, we will change that to 2. Click done. And it shows 750. 8125 the hookup and one day storage is $18. Comes to 106.75. Now, click done. It's updating the information inside the dispatch screen. Let's scroll down. We should see all of our times here. Charges are right. Any payments that will be made now or later, which not now because we're impounding this. Okay. We can choose a signature. We can also email receipt. Add photos of the crash or impound, anything like that. And we're going to choose completed. It's going to ask me to check all this information. The invoice, totals. It's going to charge this account to Stanley so that tomorrow when Lisa comes in, she's so going to show she has a negative balance and there's some reason that needs to be paid. We're going to confirm all this information by clicking done. Yes, we want to complete the call. And it dings in the dispatch app. It shows we have no active calls. Of course, we can always go back to see our completed by calls by clicking the square with a check in it, completed. It shows the one tow we did from Lahoma and the impound of the 99 Forerunner.